Hi, I'm Kate. This is me on one of my crazy adventures. I love going on adventures. I find a lot of joy in them. My husband Rob and I often were found in a situation quite like this, on a river having fun. The best day was when we married. That day was filled with joy and happiness, love and laughter. It was so much fun. But it just led us to another great adventure. Rob and I were your typical American family. Two kids, one dog, and an SUV. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun and joy raising our family. We spent a lot of time together doing all the things that families do. We had joy with everything we did. Going to the beach, going to church, hiking in the mountains. We had it. One day, Rob came home and said to me, babe, you're going back to school. You're going to get your degree. You're going to get your master's. And you're going to become a teacher. And being the obedient wife, I said, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> when the towers fell, life totally changed. It was drastic in our house. Rob transitioned from an army re reservist to active army. His first deployment was in 2004. His second deployment was in 2006. This changed our family forever. On September 20th, 2006, everything changed. Rob was killed. This is a gold star pin. What it means is I am the spouse of a fallen American hero. Rob was shot by a sniper. The round itself came through an area about 12 inches wide. The guys that, when they came home, they all said, Kate, it was a lucky shot. And I said, lucky for who? Not me. So life continued. 18 months later, our son Dylan died by suicide. He believed with all his heart he was unlovable. He was wrong. I loved him. I had joy then, but my joy cracked. So what do you do when you have to look for joy? Well, I traveled Central and South America, Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. What I discovered? Only slivers of joy I found. Which led me to Southern New Hampshire University, where I earned a second degree in English and creative writing. I had a little bit of joy. Not a lot. Sliver. But it was enough. This led to another adventure. I sold my house that I shared with Rob. I packed up all of my books, all of my stuff, loaded it into my truck along with my dog, and I drove two days down here to be with my family. I thought I was going to find my joy here with my family. I didn't. I did, however, find slivers of joy with them. Madeline would come up to me and sit next to me and say, hi, Nana, and she would quietly open her book and read it. Miles would come up and say, Nana, can you, can you take me to go get ice cream? Of course, Miles. I never <laughs> said no to that kid. <laughs> and little Charlie would crawl up in my lap. But what I was really searching for was that joy I had before, but I couldn't find it. It was nowhere. And I didn't know what to do. So I bought a house. Why not? <laughs> it's a beautiful home, right? I thought I was going to find my joy right there in that house. Nope, didn't find it. Had a sliver, a little bit, but not enough. Then something really strange happened. I ended up here. Now, I truly wanted to tutor in the writing center. David saw it differently and told me I was going to be an adjunct, and I said, Okay. <laughs> so I did. When I walked into that classroom that very first day, I found it. I found my joy. Me in the classroom, teaching, but I found my joy. What I learned in the last 12 years is really simple. Life will change on you. And sometimes it's going to suck. But. You grab onto those little slivers of joy and hang on to them. 
because it all adds up.